So I want to start this video by saying a massive rest in peace to the great John Motson, who, of course, graced the commentary booth of so many of the early FIFA games, all the way from FIFA 96 up to FIFA 2005, which was personally my first FIFA game that I played um, when I was little. Uh, I did go back and play some of the other ones as well on, on PS2, but yeah, always will be the greatest commentator that FIFA has ever had. And I also want to say sorry for not having an episode last week. Just didn't get round to it, but we are back uh, into the flow of things this week. We're starting the PS2 era with FIFA 2001, and uh, we will be looking through all of the FIFA games from FIFA 96 up to FIFA 2013 with this Season 2 of the Retro Show. And without further ado, let's have a little look at the physical copy of the game. So here it is then, FIFA 2001, starring Paul Scholes on the front when he was more famous for football than other foot-related things. But uh, yeah, you can see he's in a England shirt there. And this was where the FIFA that we're playing today really began for me, in my opinion. The 3D graphics were brilliant and you started having much more of a tactical side of how you play so on the back of the game, it says experience life on the pitch. Uh, there's over 50 international teams, including England, France, Germany, Holland and Spain. Uh, 16 domestic leagues, including the FA Premier League and Spanish Premiera. Um, consecutive seasons offer the joy of promotion and the threat of relegation. Sidelines bustle with activity from spectators, coaches and substitutes. Get out of the stands and onto the pitch. Uh, and some of the bullet points it's got is authentic kit and team logos for licensed teams, more human realism and diversity in player faces, visually impacting cinematic in the game experience. FIFA takes you to the next generation of gameplay. So, yeah, really, really excited to do it. Um, you can see it is one of the old blue discs. It was a launch title, I believe for the PlayStation 2 back in 2000. It was released on PS1 as well. I don't have that version of the game and I don't know how different it was, but we are going to play it how it was intended to be played, which is on the next generation PlayStation 2. So as you guys know, I rate these games on three factors at the end of a video. Uh, that, those three factors are gameplay, features and nostalgia effect. Where nostalgia effect is my personal nostalgia for the game. And uh, at the end of the series, we will collate them into a big league table to determine what is the best FIFA game of all time. So without further ado, let's get ourselves into the game. Here we are then in FIFA 2001. We're going to definitely go and turn this music down a lot. <laughs> but yes, this is very nostalgic for playing this menu. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go straight into those audio options. Music can be down to 20%. Obviously, commentary we want uh, on 100. Turn the game sound effects down okay very good right inside EA Sports what's all of this this demo is rated suitable for all audiences I think this will just be a look at all of the things in 2001 that came out and you can see what a, a franchise EA, EA Sports had back then Tiger Woods Madden hockey Basketball, F1, obviously football, and they had cricket as well, but you can see how many different games they had. Quite unbelievable, really. Right, let's uh, head back into the main menu. So, what options do we have? Do we have the option of 45 minute halves? That's the first thing to check. Yes, we do. We'll have it as four minute halves. We can have five substitutions. Clock type continuous. Into the stadium options, you can see we've got uh, the old Wembley Stadium, we've got Stade de France, New Camp there, San Siro. They seem to be the only um, the only stadiums. Uh, weather, we only seem to be able to have clear and rain, so no chance of snow anymore, and you can have day or night. Okay, gameplay options. Difficulty, we are going to probably go 
professional middle difficulty game speed normal you can have referee strictness on a sliding scale which is quite nice um, but I think have it on random is, is probably better uh, visual there's tele tower end to end action so four different camera angles you can have widescreen as well player names on player status bar on probably one player names on don't we in a radar there's the audio options and back to match options okay uh, let's have a look at the different game modes that we've got this year so we've got friendly we've got a uh, season tournaments custom and a training option uh, and if you have a look at the option you do have team management in there as well and within that you can have a look Manchester United there Manchester City Liverpool Leicester Leeds all of the the Premier League sides are in there so if I was to have a little look at their kick takers, I remember something I used to do, which is awful. I used to set uh, semen to be <laughs> everybody, uh, all of them, and then be able to, uh, to score a load of goals, basically. Um, <laughs> which I know is absolutely awful, but of course we got to try that out today. But I think in line with, obviously, the, the Carabao Cup final today, we are going to do... Manchester United versus Newcastle United and uh, Bobby Robson versus Alex Ferguson it was back then. So let's go into play now and we will pick the two sides. So we're going to be Newcastle United. I'm going to take on Manchester United in this match. And we are player one. And there you go. Switch player with X. Icon defend. Uh, icon defend. Icon defend. Yeah, defend dead ball. Okay, so I think that's the um, ready to start here. We go here then in this exhibition match between Newcastle United and Manchester United. And with me for today's game, Mark Lawrenson. It's not the best weather for commentators here, is it, John? It's a bit wet this evening. Yeah, great to hear John Motson on the comms again. And in my original video for this uh, um, game. Last year, well, not last year, a couple of years ago, for so the, the retro show, by our match um, we Barton. we called the Daddy episode Cash. John Motson, and, um, and well, there you go, Dwight York scores, <laughs> and actually that's had quite a few views over the the last few days, and lots of people putting in their their respects for, for John Motson, and uh, rightfully so. So the score now one nil. But look at the improvement of the animation, the the graphics. It's just challenge. Beckham. It's unbelievable. I mean, that was uh, Nobby York. Solano there, wasn't it? Goodness me. Andy York. Hughes here as well, coming back. Easy pick and, up uh, in the box. Here's Barton gets Shearer. it to Alan Shearer now. I can't Easy remember what button it was to. Giggs. A sprint, and but uh, Ryan Giggs score. nearly made it 2 0 there. Shearer. Used to be triangle. Oh, Gary Speed as well. Goodness me. Rips the ball away. <laughs> oh, Robbie. Uh, Roy Keane still going here. And the ball clear to clear. Shearer. Good tackle in midfield. Beckham. Well, I hope this uh, isn't how the match went today. Ah, oh, Beckham's there. Oh, it's cleared. York. Yeah, I wish Skulls. could work out how to Let sprint. Solano. Lee. Rob Lee. Carl Court. Irwin. Beckham. Yeah, might have to. Can we see the controls on here? I do have the. Um, the manual, luckily. So let's have a little look. It's what it's all about, isn't it? When your player has the ball, tap the triangle button. Each tap gives a short burst. Okay, so it is still triangle. So I'm not insane. Right. Back into the match then. Didn't get close with that challenge. 
There you go. You gotta keep tapping it. Missed and this is that a one. nice control. That's a good, uh, good run. Speed. Oh, that's a hard challenge. That was Roy Keane at his best there. Got to the ball well with his head there. But you can even hear the the rain and that's just insane Shearer. really. Right, here's Alan Shearer. They need tackling like that in the middle. Gary Speed loses middle. it. Skulls. Cole. Yeah, good They've tackle. Got a few men back behind the ball here. Alright, Alan Shearer still going. Shearer. And that's and out, that's out for a throw in. And on from the head. Got him well there and one. Up is us. And halted by the defence. Kieran Dyer. Dyer. And that's gone for a throw, not taking any chances there. This is a chance. Oof. That's chested down. Picked up at the back. I have to say, gameplay just 100% better, Beats. isn't it? Than what it was. Here's Dwight York. The to beat. Oh, hits the, the post. Lee. Solano. Quality ball. Carl Court. That's Neville. Half time. Oh, no, it's a free, free kick. kick well. Tackle. The keeper's making sure he has the wall where he wants it. That's a good header. Good challenge in midfield. Half time. The man in charge signals for the end of the first half, and it's 1 0 as they leave the pitch. Your opinion so far, Mark? Well, John, the score's resulting from a bit of luck, I must say. He's had to have more time. He hurt him there, you can see, but the referee says play on. Hughes. Up front with the header. No holding back with the sliding tackle. Hit the ball, though. Shearer. Just letting the, the gameplay speak for itself at the moment. I think that might have been offside anyway. Great challenge. Shearer. I mean, we're not playing Stoles. too badly here. Dyer. Court. Just can't Cole. seem to get it forward without nice work there in midfield them intercepting but here we go now Neville. oh I thought we'd got through there Shearer here he is again Alan Shearer now Neville oh, there's a chance Cole. there excellent tackle I feel like we're, we've been the better team over the last few minutes and here is a great chance What's, that's got to be a free kick that's a foul says and the it referee. is not the best sliding tackle the keeper will have to be on his toes and the injured player has gone off and been replaced by a substitute. So. How, how, do, how do we shoot? Because last time he just seemed to pass it. How do you shoot from a free kick? Let's have a look. Shooting. Yeah, free kick. Hmm. Seems to be X. Okay. That <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. Um, we are going to put some spin on it. There you go. Oh. Oops. Key. Heads it in. Neville. Cleared away. Picked up in midfield. Neville. Oh. Speed. Let's it go. 
Stops it. Yeah, good save by well Bartes there. They've taken a long time to get a shot in, John. Yep. Did well there. Good header. It's Calcourt. And the Ooh, down. Again. Close. Pushing forward with the header. Sent clear. Loses it. Hughes. Shearer. Shearer. Alan Shearer, oh, yes! Hey! Big Al! He looks happy with that, John. Name on the score sheet and a nice goal. It looks now like him, though, does it? Hey! <laughs> Oh, Bartes is not happy, is he? The goal again here, then. Well, let's have a little look at this as we push forward. Alan Shearer. And then look at his face there. They look like and that brings us level PS1 again graphics. Well-timed tackle. Cole. Oh no, no, Just the keeper now. no, how did that happen? Of that. that will certainly please his manager. Oh, nice touch. Speed. I mean, we have been dominating Beckham. most of the match, and Shearer. Unless Beckham. we can grab another goal Good here. Tackling in the middle. Through Carl Court. Oh, barely. Under control, off the chest. It's Shearer again. Shearer. Oh, that's a penalty, I think. Penalty. I think he's reaching for a card. Yellow card. He can't complain there. Not a good challenge. He's not injured for that. Yes. Oh, yes. Excellent penalty. He really hit that. It what a penalty that corner. was. That's a great goal, and he had plenty of pressure on him there. Another chance to see the penalty then. It's a brilliant penalty as well. Now, are we going to get extra time? Irwin. Excellent challenge. Key. Speed. Five minutes Working into stoppage the time here. Yeah? Barton. Nothing between the two sides in this exhibition game at the referee's whistle. Uh, yeah, let's go golden goal. All the tension you can handle here as extra time kicks off. That's a bad sliding challenge and a foul, says the referee. The keeper's got to get the wall sorted. Oof. Not a lot of danger from that range, I'm afraid. He went for power and forgot the accuracy. Wasn't far away, Back was out it? By the keeper and brought down. Nice from Ryan Speed. Giggs there. Shearer. Did well there at the back. Good clean header. Keen. Skulls. Nice touch from the defender. Nice header. Oh no. No. He only has oh, scores. he scored and, and he that's it. An extra time. Oh, what a, what a shame. All the ups and downs they've had. And the Eesh. Right. Okay then. Let's continue on then and should we have a go at one of the other game modes so we now have obviously friendly we've got tournaments let's go into season and see what dialogue is different what we're able to do are we able to are we able to make transfers that sort of thing so if we have a little look yep we can have a little transfers there so we have 32,000. Who do we want to buy? Yeah, I'm con I'm confused what So if we look at England and say I want Alan Shearer. Yeah, 
Yes, I can buy Alentira. Okay. And there you go, you can see the bank roller's gone well down. Okay. So, oh, have I bought him for Tottenham? Is that what I've done? <laughs> I think I might have bought him for Tottenham. Yes, I've bought him for Tottenham. Right, so now I need to go back to transfers. For Arsenal, we want to... I mean, this is just a really weird system, isn't it? So now Tottenham Hotspur. Shiro will, will be there. So there, there he is. So let's buy him. Right, and now maybe I can buy... Well, should we try and get Beckham? Can't afford him. So I could buy, say for less, who do I want? Newcastle could buy Sylvan Wiltord. And now Arsenal, let's buy Beckham. As I say, this is a really weird system. Arsenal. So Man United. Back in. There you go. Okay. Cool. So now if I go into team management, the kick takers will all be David Seaman, won't they? We'll keep it at that, because that'll be funny. Um, what do we want? Uh, Freddy Youngberg can come off. Although I do like Freddy Youngberg, so Lauren can come off instead. Lauren can go for Beckham, and then Shearer could go. Yeah, that's fine. Shearer's on the bench, and then let's go into the match I guess hang on Arsenal versus Liverpool here we go let's get into it A very warm welcome to you all for this first day of the league between Arsenal and Liverpool. Just making a few notes next to me is our co-commentator for today's game, Mark Lawrenson. It's a wonderful afternoon, John. Great weather for the fans and the players. OK, here we go. So the game started by our match referee. Beckham. Superb challenge. Plays it through. Fowler. Michael Owen, eh? Missed the ball. Fowler there as well. Fowler taking the ball. It's Scores. There. That's just inside the upright. The crowd are on their feet. They didn't waste any time, did they, John? Right. Really came out flying. You're right. And that gets us off the mark nicely. 1 0 here. This is ridiculous. Robbie Fowler, Fowler. again. Oh, oh my good goodness. Goal. The keeper looks like he's left his sense of humour on the team bus and he doesn't find his defence at all amusing. Another so quickly the keeper doesn't know what's happening. Yep, they're really going at them now, aren't they? I don't know what his intention was there, John. The second goal goes in then 2 0 here. Bambi. Owen. Okay, headed and behind for a, for a corner. Bombay. And the merest of deflections away by the keeper. The keeper's having a stinker, John. He's let him more than he's saved. Here's Beckham. Ziga. Dixon. Bergkamp. Sammy Hippier. Haman. Sylvina. This is cool. 
Oh. Fowler. Sixes and sevens at the back. Only the keeper left in his way. Junberg. That's a good Perez. ball. Perez now. Good defence. That's a good header. And brought down. No foul, just shoulders, says the referee. Owen. That's a good tackle from Martin Keown. Needed to be. And now the referee brings them back for the oh, free they kick. Are. They're trying to cover most of the options with the wall. To a free kick. Vieira. Junberg. Fowler. Oh, the it's a post. Off the bar. Oh, off the great save. Back again. Pesky, it's a post. Oh. That's a clever piece of skill, but it's gone wide of the goal. Oh, that was That's brilliant. A good attempt on goal. And they're not done yet in front of goal, it seems. Working for the ball in midfield. That's Pesky. offside, yeah. And the move killed there. Offside here we go given. with uh, Seaman now. Headed away from danger then. Good tackle. Herpia. Silvino. Played on. And a nice challenge to win it in the middle. On show. Haman. This is a good oh, run. it's the keeper! A well -placed shot what was Seaman up to there? He's been the busy of the two goalkeepers, John. 3-0. Might have to stop this at half time. Adams. And there the it is, half time. An end to the first 45 minutes and the score here is <laughs> right, let's try and Your come back. On the first half mark. Just goes to show how important it can be to get up front and take chances here. Bambi. Haman. No holding back with the sliding tackle. Hit the ball though. Perez. Babble. Owen. Oh. That's a bad sliding out. challenge and a foul, says the referee. The keeper's trying to guess where they'll put this. The ball stripped from the feet of the attacker. Fowler, good play at the back. Gerard. They want Liverpool are good, aren't they? Fowler. Perez. Not likely to win the ball from that far away. Quality ball. Bergkamp. Go on, Freddy. Kills the attack dead. Haman. Fowler. Silvino. Lundberg. Well played at the back. Vieira. Pesky. Owen. Oh. Free kick given there, the ref didn't like that. Got to get the wall sorted out here. Silvino. Beckham. Beckham. Still going. Beckham. He really had to win the tackle there. Great stuff. Did well there. Good header. Excellent tackle. Fowler. Vieira. Beckham. Vieira. Easy save for the keeper. Oh, Free kick. oh it's going to be a red card, is it? Hey, on coming, Or at least he feared it was. The red card shown for the bad challenge on the keeper. Well, that'll please the manager. Let's the ball go. Gonna be no. Seager. Bergkamp. He Oof, really fired that save. one. The keeper equal to it though, and making the most of the opportunity to show off for the cameras. 
And that's gone out into touch for a throw. Junberg loses the ball. Yeah, this Aman. is frustrating. Oh! Free kick could be a card here. And yes, that's a booking. The referee not impressed with how he slid in for the challenge. Babel. Beckham. Fowler. Bergkamp. And injury time ridiculous. will be just a couple of minutes. Perpia. A free kick awarded for the bad tackle. Yeah. Well, we've been well defeated here, haven't Fowler, we? Fowler, and that's stripped away by the keeper. Adams. That's chested down. It's a chance Vieira. for Vieira. The oh. Nicely won by the keeper. And the game Unlucky. Him. What a good start to the season. The manager will want to talk to his players about that. They never looked like recovering from the goal early on, John. So defeat was inevitable. Well, Mark, I guess that wraps it up for us today. Thanks for joining us, everybody. So there you go, then. We will leave it there for the gameplay part of this episode. So let's see what I rate it on those three factors. Gameplay features and nostalgia effect so as you know i rate games on three bases gameplay features and nostalgia effect where nostalgia is my personal nostalgia for that game and first impressions i was blown away by how much of a step up we've had in terms of the gameplay um so the animations the the feeling that it is a football game but um yeah, what, what did we rate it? That's the question. So first of all, uh, let's have a little look at gameplay. So gameplay, I've given that four stars. Now, I gave last week's uh, FIFA, FIFA 2000, uh, four stars as well. And, you know, I don't think we've made any steps forward in terms of really being able to impose yourself tactically on it. It is still very, by the numbers, pass it forward. Um, try and get the ball back and, and run the other way. It's very end-to-end -end in that aspect. There's not really any phases to the game and you can't really impose yourself tactically on it. So it's still four stars for me. It still plays very nicely. Um, and obviously the animations, the, the graphics, they are so much better than what I remembered FIFA 2001 being. Next bit uh, we have got is features, which I have given three stars. So similar to FIFA 2000, there isn't any indoor football. There isn't really anything extra to FIFA 2000 in terms of what is on offer. You've got friendly, you've got tournaments, you've got seasons and, and consecutive seasons, I guess, is the one thing that you do have. Uh, you've got the threat of promotion and relegation in there as well, but um, equally... You know, you're not given the, the, the chance to manage championship sides. I don't think I couldn't find any teams that were below the Premier League. So that that is interesting. Um, but yeah, three stars for that. Nothing new, but nothing taken away, if you like. And finally, nostalgia effect. I think particularly because this week we lost the great John Motson. I have to give it four stars. It was brilliant to hear his, his voice again. And that nostalgia of knowing exactly how I used to play this game and change the goalkeepers to taking the set pieces and stuff, that was quite funny to me. So I, I had to give it four stars. It does feel a, a, a very special game. This is the one I remember, you know, other than, you know, I don't really remember FIFA 2002 or 2003. But I remember this one, 2001. So, yeah, really enjoyed going back and looking at this game again and uh, will be revisiting it again in the future. I've, I've no doubt about that. Um, I have really enjoyed my time with FIFA 2001. So there you have it then, our first venture into the PlayStation 2 world of FIFA games by EA Sports. And uh, next time out, we will be looking at FIFA 2002. So if you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Check out the links either side of me if you want to see any of the series so far. Check out 
the big playlist that we've got. It's coming along nicely now, FIFA 96 up to 2001. And next week we will be looking at FIFA Football 2002. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.